Salute, folks. It's your boy, the insurance junkie, your fiduciary fella, the all-star boss of Alonzo Hall. And I've returned today to Wap and Tap on your head with another ADH Glow solution. Before I go in, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you hit that like, drop a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're made aware every time I release new content. And as always, share, share, share. Lastly, to contribute to channel growth or to schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment with a licensed financial professional, the links are in the description. Salute, folks. It's your boy, the insurance junkie, your fiduciary fella, the all-star advisor, Alonzo Hall, and I've returned today with another ADH Wealth Solution. Today, I want to talk about risk and return, but before I go in, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you hit that like, drop a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're made aware every time I release new content. And as always, share, share, share. Lastly, to contribute to channel growth or to schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment with a licensed financial professional, the links are in the description. So as we proceed to give you what you need, there's no free lunch is a term used by financial advisors to explain the relationship of risk and return about investing. So now you hear the same concept in other areas of life too, right? Um, no pain, no gain, or you get what you pay for. Basically, if there's no cost, don't expect much benefit. Now in the investment world, risk has a direct relationship with the return. The lower the risk, the lower the reward, generally, and the higher the risk, the higher the potential reward. But with most investments, there is no way to guarantee uh, that the expected returns or the returns that you're expecting will actually happen. So now, investors, what they do is they allow another party to use their money in expectation of some kind of return, and they tend to be risk averse, meaning they prefer a sure thing. However, they often understand that the higher the risk, the higher the return could be. Now, because of this, this is why guaranteed investments offer a lower return. I want you to think of things like a bank CD or products that carry FDIC insurance. While highly speculative investments usually come with a high price tag, but you could also lose every dollar invested. So now, I want to take a look at the different types of returns that exist. So there's interest, dividends, and capital gains, or capital losses. Now interest is the price paid for using someone else's money. I want you to think a savings account, right? You deposit your money in the bank, and then the bank gives you back interest. So basically, you loan the bank money uh, to, for things like lending out mortgages. Now there's two types of interest. Simple interest, which only pays on the initial investment. Um, for example, if you put $10,000 in a bank at 3% interest per year, you would have earned $900 after three years. So next is compound interest, which pays on both the principal and the earned interest. So with the same example of the $10,000, except the interest is compound, at the end of the three years, you've earned $927. So next would be dividend, which is a corporation to pay out earnings and usually in cash to its shareholders. Now companies can choose to pay dividends or not from one quarter to the next. And a company's operations has a huge impact on the dividend amount. Also, only stocks pay dividends. Cash and bonds don't. So now a change in an investment's value can create a capital gain or loss. When an investment rises in price from the original purchase, it's a capital gain. When the price falls in value, it's a capital loss. Of the three asset classes, bonds and stocks can generate capital gains or losses. Now, for an investment total return, is it's simply the sum of income, dividends, and capital gains or capital losses over a period of time. Thus, it's important for every investor to consider all forms of return to understand an investment's total return. So that's going to be it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you hit the like, drop a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're made aware every time I release new content. 
And as always, share, share, share. Lastly, to contribute to channel growth or to schedule a one-on-one appointment with a licensed financial professional, the links are in the description. With that being said, wipe ass. Work in progress every day and see success. Salute, salute, salute. Hey folks, this last video was sponsored by my company, where we help people like you to reach their financial goals. We do this through a simple conversation where we help to identify and then protect your lifestyle. And then we implement a plan. The process starts at about an hour. So if you want more information or you want to schedule a consult, contact me via the information in the description box. And Let's talk and see if we're actually a great fit for each other. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, when people challenge you, they don't challenge you to challenge you, but they challenge you to challenge you. Accept the challenge. Thank you, and enjoy life.